I'm joined by my friend Don Lemon. Don, welcome to the show. I know you got your new show, The Don Lemon Show. I want to talk about this, though, because about two weeks ago, Donald Trump promised, I don't even know what that means when Donald Trump promises anything, that he was not going to use RNC funds as he and Lara Trump and the Trump family has taken over the RNC on his personal legal fees. And the RNC said, we're going to take Donald Trump at his word. But now that we're learning that Trump's new joint fundraising agreement with the RNC actually will direct donations to a committee where it could be used for his legal fees. Surprise, surprise. So let me just stop right there and, and just kind of ask you, why, is the, why are these MAGA Republicans just so utterly gullible? Really? Are you asking me that, Ben? I mean, how long have you been reporting on this? Uh, because this is you can no longer say that the Republican Party is not the MAGA party anymore. You can't say that. There are Republicans who say, this isn't the party that I know. This It's not the entire Republican Party. OK, it may not be everyone in the Republican Party, but it's most folks in the Republican Party. This is Donald Trump's party. And he has he has now named the, the RNC, the head of the RNC. He's going to get funds from them. And even when people are out campaigning for other candidates, the, the, most of the time, the campaign centers around the reelection of Donald Trump rather than the candidate that they're, his surrogates, Trump surrogates, are supposed to be there stumping for. This is the MAGA party. That's why. Don, you've been covering uh, Trump politics, though, for a very long time. You know, whenever I see the beginning of these traveling fascist circus events, that's how I refer to him. Donald Trump refers to them as rallies. Here's how he starts every event. And, you know, I don't really see lots of people in the media covering this aspect of it, but let me just show, show, show it to you and then let me get your reaction. Okay. Let's play this clip. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the horribly and unfairly treated January 6th hostages. Well, thank you very much. And you see the spirit from the hostages, and that's what they are as hostages. They've been treated terribly and very unfairly, and you know that, and everybody knows that. And we're going to be working on that soon. The first day we get into office, we're going to save our country, and we're going to work with the people to treat those unbelievable patriots, and they were unbelievable patriots and are. You see the spirit just cheering, they're, making, they're cheering while they're doing that, and they did that in prison, and it's a disgrace in my opinion. So, Don, I want to get your reaction to that. But just to be clear, Donald Trump has changed the lyrics to the national anthem. He calls it the J6th anthem. The song is sung by the January 6th insurrectionists who are in prison, some of the most dangerous rioters. It's announced to the crowd as these are the unfairly treated hostages. And yet this is kind of normalized by them. I mean, this is a big deal. What's going on? It is a big deal. You know, the the MAGA folks get upset when people call it a cult. OK, I won't go that far, but it certainly is cultish behavior. If I were the Biden folks, the White House or the campaign, I would play that in every single city, on every single television and every single ad that I had. And I would show the actual footage of January 6th, 6th of, of police officers, you know, back the blue who were being hit with flagpoles and stomped on, one officer losing his life, dying days after, other officers having concussions, one even had a heart attack. I would play the actual footage from January 6th and remind people that those insurrectionists stole from the Capitol. They desecrated the Capitol. They, they left feces on the walls of the Capitol. And when people say, oh, there were no weapons, yes, there were weapons. Look, do your research. Ask the police officers who were there. They were carrying weapons into the Capitol. So it is, I, I don't expect anything, you know, better from Donald Trump. At this point, it's just, you know, the behavior is degrading, but it can be expected. But I would, you know, he is trying to, he is trying to turn this into a positive, in, into a campaign um I guess, slogan for him to get back into the office. If I were on the other side, I'd be doing the same thing, just the reverse, just the opposite.
you know, before I founded the Midas Touch Network, I was representing Colin Kaepernick. And I remember you reporting on, you know, Donald Trump's speech about Kaepernick. Get that SOB off the field is what Mm -hmm. Donald Trump said about him in Huntsville, Alabama, when Colin Kaepernick uh, peacefully protested with the singing of the national anthem. He didn't change the lyrics. He didn't you know, praise uh, people who tried to overthrow free and fair elections. And what did these Republicans always say? They always say that's disrespectful to the flag. That's disrespectful to the anthem. Now, quite literally, you have Donald Trump changing the lyrics to our national to the anthem. anthem. He yeah. changed the lyrics to our anthem. He has mm-hmm. it being sung by J6 insurrectionists some of the most dangerous ones who tried to destroy our democracy. And this is the Republican Party. It's not the Republican Party anymore, right? The Republican Party's gone. I mean, you used to cover, when you would report, there would be Democrats, there would be Republicans, there would be disagreements that would be, okay, well, you're liberal, you're conservative, and you feel, it's it's not like that anymore, though. Yet It's not like that. It's uses that paradigm. Yeah, it, 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 this is we've gone far beyond that. It's not like that anymore. These aren't this isn't a normal um, election. These aren't normal Republicans, unfortunately. And I would say for the Republicans who are, of you know, the Jack Kemp era or the t- more traditional um, Republicans, I would say, you know, it's awful that your party is being taken over by those people, but that the party is being taken taken over by those people. I. <sighs> It's really sad because people want to say that you're partisan because, you know, if you speak the truth about Donald Trump and you speak the truth about what's happening with the MAGA crowd, that you're partisan. But I think everyone should be on the side of democracy. And if being on the side of democracy means that you are speaking out against this insurrectionist, obstructionist, cultish, um, fascist-like behavior, then I think people should stand up and so be it. Because if 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 you allow for this kind of thing and, and for what Donald Trump has said he's going to do, he plans to do once he gets back into office, I think that you are rooting for the side of democracy being torn down, of the Constitution being torn down, and also of the national anthem, right, being, um, you know, sampled or re, a remake of the national anthem that goes against the very nature of what the anthem is supposed to be about. You know, when you see Donald Trump's complete takeover in the Republican Party, you know, even today where someone like MAGA Mike Johnson, who basically does everything that Donald Trump wants him to do, is being viewed as what, not loyal enough to the Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert crowd because he helped pass through what he's referring to as a minibus, not even an omnibus bill, a minibus bill, whatever that even means, to, to keep the government September. Up and because okay, he did so, that, but, but haven't we, Ben, haven't we seen this movie before? Didn't we see this movie with Kevin McCarthy and and Matt Gates? And now this movie is playing all over again? I mean, what do you, what do you want me to say? I'm not surprised by it. Are you surprised that this is happening again? It's going to continue to happen. Well, the part that, you know, does surprise me though, and this is why it's, you know, I think so great that with the Don Lemon show that you're starting, which you're building on your YouTube channel, just kind of bringing the message directly to the people. Like my own view about it is, is that these paradigms that may have been the right framework to look at issues in the past across media has changed dramatically. In 2024, there's a different type of media literacy that's needed and there's a different approach that is needed. And I just feel like media is using outdated paradigms and it's important to talk about things as, you know, look, this is pro-democracy. That's an affront, that's an attack to our democracy. So what can we expect from the Don Lemon Show? What's gonna be different about this than what we've seen from you before? You can expect a perspective that I wasn't able to share when I was in traditional linear television. You can also expect to hear someone who has um, 17 years, almost two decades of covering national and international politics. I would say 20 years because I was also at NBC for a while before then. So two decades of covering uh, national and international uh, affairs. But here's what I want people to know. That perspective comes with when I started uh, at my at the old place, I started when George Bush was president and I went through a George Bush term 
then Barack Obama became president. I went through two terms of that. So this isn't, you know, 2008. This isn't 2006. This isn't 2008. This isn't 2012 presidential election. This is not a 2016 presidential election when we saw all of a sudden this person come in and, and try to drive our democracy into the ground. This isn't even a 2020 election. This is 2024 and the rules have changed. The game has changed. So the rule, the rules of engagement for the media, as you mentioned, media literacy, those are different. And so you're going to get the different rules of engagement, unafraid, unapologetic, to tell the truth about what's happening in the upcoming election and what we are facing, what the American democracy is up against. We're not against the Republican Party on the Don Lemon Show. We're not against the Democratic Party on the Don Lemon Show. What we stand for is the truth. What we stand for is democracy. What we stand for is abiding by the Constitution. What we stand, stand for is not changing the lyrics of the national anthem to suit a fascist-like regime. That's what you're going to see on The Don Lemon Show. And you're going to see, hopefully, a lot more Don Lemon here on the Midas Touch Network, and we'll be doing more hot takes together um, just like this. So make sure you hit subscribe here. Go check out Don Lemon's YouTube channel as well at The Don Lemon Show. Don, it's great to uh, be with you, and I look forward to doing more of these with our audience. Ben, I'll see you real soon. Thank you. It's an honor to be on. Hit subscribe. Help us get to 3 million subscribers. We appreciate you all so much. Have a good one. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.